In this video, let's talk about a very important topic that affects many people's lives. Managing your cholesterol is one of the most important aspects of modern medicine and medications are a big part of this. But here is the million dollar question. What exactly are these medications doing to our bodies, apart from keeping those cholesterol numbers down? You see, medications like statins, zedia or ezetimibe, fibrate and niacin are not just complex terms, but they are daily routine for millions seeking to balance their cholesterol levels. Now, while it's true these medications can help lower your cholesterol, I do believe that knowing the full picture can help us make the best choices for our health. And sometimes that means talking about the side effects that are not always discussed in a quick chat with your doctor or pharmacist. So in this video, I will share with you the side effects of common cholesterol medications. Dear Dr. Farm D here, welcome and please like and subscribe to the channel. Number one, statins. Statins are one of the most commonly prescribed medications for cholesterol. You may know some of the big names in this group like atovastatin, rosuvastatin, and simvastatin. They work by slowing down your liver from making too much cholesterol, which helps keep your arteries clear and your blood flowing freely. Now, we all know that keeping our cholesterol in check is key to a healthy heart and a long life and the statins can be effective in lowering cholesterol. But let's talk about the flip side of these medications. You see, statins are known to cause muscle pain, ranging from mild soreness to something a bit more uncomfortable, and in rare cases can even lead to a life-threatening condition called rhabdomyolysis, which causes the breakdown of muscle tissue. And it does not stop there. You may notice it's hard to keep your blood sugar in check, which could increase your risk of developing diabetes. In addition, they may also affect your liver, leading to potential liver damage. That's why it's important to regularly monitor your liver function while taking statins. And then there are cognitive side effects like memory issues or confusion, which are rare but worth mentioning. Number 2. Zedia This medication in the pharmacy world is also known as ezetimibe. Unlike statins, ezetimibe does not work in the liver. Instead, it works in your small intestines. Think of it as a gatekeeper, carefully blocking unwanted cholesterol from entering your bloodstream. Now, most people find that ezetimibe agrees with them quite well. However, it is not perfect. It can cause an upper respiratory infection. Imagine having cold symptoms so often that do not go away. But that's not all. There is diarrhea, joint pain, and sinusitis, which simply means swelling of the sinuses. And for some, Zedia can cause pain in the arms or legs. Number 3. Fibrates these are medications such as pinofibrate and gemfibrozil. Their main objective is to lower triglycerides, which are types of fats known to cause heart disease. At the same time, fibrates tell your body to break down and get rid of extra LDL cholesterol, the kind of often known as bad cholesterol. Now, when it comes to side effects, fibrates can be tough on your digestive system meaning they can cause digestive problems, leading to gastrointestinal or stomach discomfort. Yes, we are talking about stomach pain, diarrhea, and sometimes a bit more serious, like gallstones. In addition, when taking phenofibrate, you need to be mindful of potential liver and lung problems. Plus, fibrates may also increase the risk of bleeding, so be cautious if you have a bleeding disorder or are taking blood thin medication. Number four, niacin or vitamin B3. Now, niacin is a vital supplement that does more than just help your metabolism. It also helps control your cholesterol levels. You see, it works by lowering the body LDL cholesterol and triglycerides, 
while boosting the levels of the good HDL cholesterol, which is great for your heart health. However, here is a fair warning. Niacin is well known for causing flushing as a side effect. This is the way your skin, usually on the face or neck, gets red and warm, like you're blushing from a compliment. Not only that, but it can also bring along itching, which can have you scratching as if you have had a mosquito bite. And not to mention, there are stomach issues such as diarrhea and nausea. While those are the most common side effects, taking niacin can sometimes lead to more serious side effects, including liver damage, muscle pain, or the breakdown of muscle tissues. And this is especially true when paired with statins. Number five, bile acid sequestrants. These are relatively old cholesterol medications, such as cholesterol and Wellcol. Think of these medications as little sponges inside your small intestines, soaking up bile acids so your liver has to use up more of your body's cholesterol to make more new bile acids. And by doing this, they help lower your cholesterol levels in your blood. Now, while these medications are busy working to lower your cholesterol, they may also bring along unwanted side effects that are usually related to digestion, such as constipation, bloating, and gas. And there is more. They can cause vitamin deficiency, affect how your body absorbs other medications, and in some cases can increase triglyceride levels. So here's a pro tip. Always keep your doctor in the loop if you have a history of stomach problems such as hemorrhoids, severe constipation, or gastroparesis. And there you have it. Stay informed and stay healthy. Thanks for watching.